Ladies and gentlemen, federal employees, we have exciting news. The cost of living adjustments for federal employee pension. So if you are retired or close to retirement, this may just affect you. Now, if you're not retired, this this call is not going to actually affect your pension, but it's super crucial to understand how it is going to play a part in your future retirement. So for 2023, the cost of living adjustment is going to be 7.7%, which is the largest increase we have seen for FERS pensions in decades, in a long, long time. Now, if you happen to be a CSRS employee, the increase is going to be 8.7%. And it really just comes down to understanding how these things are calculated, right? Long story short, if inflation happens to be over 3%, okay, then the FERS pension is going to increase by whatever inflation was minus 1%. So that is why CSRS employees got an 8.7% increase and Social Security is going to have an 8.7% increase, but FERS employees get a 7.7% increase because it does lag just a tiny bit, 1% if inflation is higher than 3%, then it will lag by 1%. That is just how the rules are set up. Also, if inflation is between 2 to 3%, then the first federal employees, you guys, you retirees are going to get a pension increase of 2%. If it is between 0 and 2, then of course it'll be exactly what inflation was. That is how it works. So, as again as a recap, if inflation is between 0 and 2%, you'll get exactly what inflation is. If inflation is between 2 to 3, you'll get 2%. If it's above 3%, you'll get whatever inflation is minus 1%. So that is how it works. Now, unfortunately, not all federal retirees that are receiving a pension are going to get a cost of living adjustment this year. First, as a traditional first, you have to be at least 62 to get the cost of living adjustment. It doesn't start until you hit 62. So for example, if you retire at 58, you're not going to get a cost of living adjustment until 62. That's number one. Also, if you this happens to be your first year of retirement, then you're not going to get the full cost of living adjustment. It's going to be prorated based on how many months you were actually retired and receiving an annuity during the year. So th- that is the news when it comes to the cost of living adjustments, who it affects, how it affects. So if you have any questions yourselves, put in the comments below. We'll do our best to address those. And I hope that's helpful. Have an incredible rest of your guys' day, week, month, and we'll talk soon. Thanks.